Let's talk about music. You're with QC right now. QC the label. Before that, I first seen you with Dream Chasers. Were you part of that imprint or you? Um, nah, you know, um, actually, I did a record with Meek Mill called Rolling On My Wrist. And, um, you know, at the time, you know, um, the record, you know, it was a dope record. And, you know, um, you know, me and Meek talk, you know, you know, about a few things dealing with the music, but I never was signed to Dream Chasers all part of that umbrella. It just was a, you know, Meek is a cool dude. You know, I was cool with a lot of people around, so it just was a, you know, mutual, you know, just a mutual friendship, you know what I'm saying? And then after I had seen you, you know, with the Dream Chaser situation, like, you know, just, you know, viewing your career, you know, I'd seen a lot of that. Um, I seen you with uh, Juvenile right. in his camp. Right, Juvenile, Juve, like, Juve play a real intricate role in a lot of artists that comes out of New Orleans, you know, he extends his hand, you know, to help in the way he can. And at the time, you know, um, I was one of the artists that was really making a big impact. So, you know, Juvie, like, one of them uncles who know everything, he gonna call you, he gonna say, come over here, man, come get something to eat, I wanna talk to you. Man, why you ain't take this deal? Uh, what's going on with this? You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I think you should do this. So it's always good to have a person that been through more than you. You know what I'm saying? Where you can learn from. So that's, you know, that's the kind of person that Juve is, you know. So shout out to Juve for being, you know, like an uncle to me, you know, taking me under his wing. Was he trying to sign you? Uh, we never really talked about, you know, him, me, him signing me. But we always talked about my gift to make good, big records. And if he could help me in any way possible, he would. So, you know, that's, that's the kind of relationship that we had and we still have to this day. Now, how did the QC situation happen? Man, I just was, I was actually at V103 doing an interview with Gray Street, and I bumped into Reese, and we talked, and, you know, I was telling her what I had going on and stuff like that, and she told me she heard about the role label. She never heard none of my material or whatever, so emailed her. So I sent her a few records. Um, she liked it, took it to Coach and P. They loved it, and from there, you know, for the rest was history. 